Hello, 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 hello everyone. I'm so sorry. The audio is absolutely dog shit. The, my headset is broken. The mic just is not working. I don't, I, I'm not sure if it's broken. Or, I think I did sound I muted the whole headset. So I'm having to use the fucking mic on the PS5 controller. I will try to sort it out and make it somewhat bearable for you guys. But yeah, I do apologize for the terrible mic quality. Final episode, final video kind of of the year and we happen to use this shitty PS5 mic but yeah, anyway hello everyone and welcome back to my fastest cars around certain racetracks in Gran Turismo 7 I've said that Monza is the most popular track in this game then I said it was Goodwood and then maybe even Trial Mountain well not really Trial Mountain but this time I am definitely sure that this track is the most popular welcome to the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Nordschleife? Don't know. Don't speak German, so pretty sure I pronounced it well. The longest track in the game, and the fucking hardest track in the game. I struggled on this track. And as you can see, which is just about to come up, well, I'm a bit early, but as you can see now, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see it together, we'll see it together. Look at this. BMW turns the corner, turns another corner, absolutely fucks the on this next corner up, as you can see. Comes in, too wide, too fast, messes it up, crashes in there, and BAM! You can't see, let me, let me show you again. This is a different angle. The Suzuki in front does the exact same thing, look. Both go wide, both smack into the thing. So even the AI, even the AI struggle on this track, so, yeah. Anyway, just got a bit distracted there. Welcome to the Nürburgring, I'm not sure the longest, yep. It took about six to seven minutes each lap. So again, as you can tell by the racing cars you're seeing today, I am gonna be using the racing cars because they're faster and I've only got about 33 of them, so it's not gonna take ages. It's not gonna be like the road cars where it'll probably take about eight minutes to do a lap and I have about over a hundred of them. So yeah, that would make more sense on why it would take three months like the fucking last video. Anyway, uh, let's just jump straight into this. Uh, I kind of wanted you to see this entire video because it took me quite a while to edit all this shit. But yeah, let's just jump into it. Oh, actually, before we do, I do need to say that I have changed it. Before it was the four laps of the top 10 cars and it jumped the 20 to 11th in. But I have going to change it. You're only going to see the four lap of first place because, again, they're like six, seven minutes. And then I'll just throw in 10th to second, the start of it, in between each lap. Okay, let's just jump into it.
So there we fucking go. Not even the Aston Martin Valkyrie can beat that fucking Nissan. Ugh. Annoyingly, I sold the P1 GTR. So we can't even see it. That will be faster. Oh, so annoying. I'm, I really do regret selling that car. I really do. But I'm definitely going to buy it back for when I do the uh, Le Mans uh, video. Because... That is, that Le Mans mostly just, you know, 90% straight line, isn't it? So, hopefully it'll be more faster. Because you can do DRS on that car. I'm not sure if I will, because it is kind of chicken. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, the Nissan GTR, Nismo GT500, is the fastest. I am pretty sure that car is, like, the fastest race car you can buy. Without, you know, getting the, the uh, you know, the proper Le Mans cars and the BGT cars, you know, like the uh, Le Mans Mazda or the Dodge Tomahawk or stuff like that. Actually, wait there, I just, I just, I've literally just remembered, it's not even part of my script, but I've just remembered. You do have that BMW F1 GTR, I think it's called, you know, the one that's pretty much just a McLaren F1 but has a BMW badge. I'm pretty sure that might be faster because when you do normal races like this one you're watching uh, I'm pretty sure yeah uh, that is the car that you race against with when you're in a GTR Nismo GT500 so that might be faster I like how I'm contemplating and it's not like I can fucking buy that car it was in the 90s or wasn't it so you have to buy it from that special place where the cars are like 30 million so that car would probably be what 45 million so I'm never gonna buy it anyway I'm I'm rambling on a bit I'm kinda want to ramble on a bit so you can watch this full I might even actually upload this race without the audio just so you could see it because it's a good race and it's the first time I proper edited it like this not just let you watch it all but the annoying thing as you can see here the cars fucking slow down when I drive past them like this that, that was that, he was first place and that just went past him easily but anyway Again, I'm rambling on. So, as per usual, there will be a video after this showing every single lap because you didn't get, you only got to see the top ten. But um, yeah, I think yeah, this probably will be the last video I do with audio. Yeah, I might do a VGT card around this lap, and then I'm definitely gonna upload this. I'm just saying, I'm definitely gonna upload this race maybe on New Year's Eve or something. But um, yeah, this is the last video with audio, so I'm going to say, hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you have a great New Year's, New Year's Eve and all that lot. And uh, yeah, I will see you in 2024. Goodbye.